<laughs> friend to girlfriend. Wait, I want. I want to pick up my friend's my girlfriend's friend. Hello, Mr. Henrik. Oh, my friend to girlfriend. Cool, no. And I like your streams a lot. Don't go to Stockholm tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna have to ban you from donating ever again. That's slightly inappropriate. All right, let's make it our friend to become girlfriend. Escape the friend zone. How did you do that with the uh, boo boo, Gork? It's a little creepy. I haven't seen you for a while. How's it going? Yeah, I'm very well. Thank you. I was That's very good. busy at some point, but yeah. I'm very, very well now. Have some more time. What have you got going on at the moment? Can we give a rating uh, on the guy, actually, please? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign up for some design designer courses. Oh yeah. Yes. That would so be good. Excited. You wanted to do that, right? Yes, I'm very excited about that. Very cool. What else? Nothing. Not much. Enjoying nice weather. Just very Is this happy. so stiff, this conversation? Oh, yeah. yeah, pretty good. What's going on? Um, nothing, I'm not that busy, kind of relaxed. You can tell um, they're acting. Enjoying life, have some chips planned and stuff. Mm. Do you have anything nice. planned, holidays or anything? Uh, this weekend I'm going to music festival. Oh, can mm. I and come? I was going to ask you to come. Uh, oh, I'd love to come. Uh, no, I was going to ask you to come and to take care of my cat. Oh, yikes. Okay. Do you have free, some free time? Just a few times during this weekend to come and Yikes. to cook for it, for to Tom. Cook? Yes. Cook. You mean open the tin and like... No, 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 no. He's not eating that. No, oh. no, of course. He needs uh, you to, somebody to cook for him. And I was going to ask you. And I don't know, just spend time with him, stroke a little bit, you know, put him in the bag this guy's a. when he falls asleep. Can you do that? You'll like it. He's very sweet. If you suck my... Uh, sorry. Uh, say you'll do it for a blowjob. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, actually. Yeah, sure, I can do that for you, of course. I don't mind doing that. Um, I could you. ask a favour in return as sure, well. Sure, sure, no problem. Because you've got, you've got these lovely lips, and it would be great if you could just give me a blowjob one time, quickly. Like, we just find a time that's good for Are you. Are you serious? Yeah, you not joke. now, no, in you're a joking. coffee shop, but another day. <laughs> sure, I'm your friend, Richard. Yeah, that's so what's the problem? Because it's just been do so it. long. Friends don't do this for well, each other. Just, just make an exception, because it's been a while, and look I at your believe, sexy I lips and stuff. I can't believe what it you're saying. Be, I'm sure you're great at it. You're sick. Just quickly. I don't want to talk to you. Just once. No, no, no. I don't want to And I'll look after your cat No more friends. I mean, it would be nice if that was the way the world worked, but it's not. And women don't think like that, and there's no place to bring. <laughs> really? All right. Say it's no problem at all, and you can even come twice a day. No, I'm not a goddamn cuck. You tell her it's ridiculous and she's taking advantage of your feelings for her. No. Tell her you're a little busy this week. Sure. What are friends for? Say something about looking after. <laughs> Well, to be honest, I, I always did think about doing things with your pussy, but not cooking for it. What? Richard, it's me. Yeah. Me, your you're, friend. But you're very attractive, to be honest. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, we spend a lot of time together. For how many years? Spend a lot of time together. And sometimes at night when we're not together, I kind of Being friends imagine doesn't things mean to do this kind of things. You. Sure. And you know, you've got that picture on Facebook in your bikini and stuff. Yeah. You just look really sexy on it, and I just imagine. I mean, I'm happy you like me and you like off. my body, but no, 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 yeah, no, no, I do. no. I don't expect that from you. Well, it's not well, really well, why not? What do you think, though? What do you mean, what do you think? It's you no. Maybe we'd... Never ha will never happen. Never? No, just friends. You know, friends, friends. meeting for coffee, looking after cats, things like that. So you're addicted, basically. You just meet me, put these sexy pictures on Facebook. Know that I'm thinking about you. You're mental. 
What's wrong with you? That's normal, woman. Man, every guy is like that. What are you talking you. about? Are you mental? That's what every guy thinks. Now that's pretty much how it would play out with most. Uh, let, wait, what, what is even the right answer? Let me think. What is the right answer? Say it's no problem and you come even twice a day. That's good because she loves her animal. And I will take good care of it. Okay, I mean, that makes me a cuck though, but... Tell her it's ridiculous. Uh, no, that would be very bad. Tell her you're a little busy. No, but she didn't even invite me, so... Sure, what are friends for? No, that's... No, no, it must be this one. A or C? No, no, it will be C, because I, I, I don't I want to get out of the friend zone. I want to get out of the friend zone, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'd love to help, but actually I'm, I'm pretty oh, busy no. this week. Yeah, I don't think I'd have time. Sorry, maybe... Please think about it. Maybe you can do it. Just a few hours a day. Well, maybe I could, but I'm not sure, you know, what time I'm free and stuff. And I don't want to tell you I can, and then your oh, cat's like waiting for I can ask you a favor. salmon and stuff, and then I'm not there. <laughs> okay, never mind. You can find someone else, I'm yeah, sure. sure. Next time, next time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need to say there no, we go, boys. and the, you know, these girls that put you I in the like friend Richard zone, Flammer they're more always ask class. favors and, you know, you're kind of chasing them all the time. The way to break out is to start treating them more like a friend rather than a girl that you're trying to date. And this is a way to do it. So it's the correct option here. Yeah. Who are you going option. to the festival with? With my boyfriend. Ah, this guy. Yeah. Um, how, yeah. how is that, by the way, relationship? It's okay. It's okay. Only okay. It's not perfect. Ah, tell he's me more. Very, he's very busy recently. We tell don't get enough time together. So I, actually I see him like once or twice a week. He's always in the office. Or even at, when he's at home, he's on his computer. So there is not much communication. Playing World of Warcraft? Us. So he doesn't really pay attention to you and stuff? Looks like that. Yeah, it looks like that to me. Probably his project taking too much time. All right, let's see here. Say that he's terrible. Uh, you would never do that. That's, that's, a, that's a white knight answer. I'm not a white knight myself. Tell her that he's a shit and she needs to break up with it. No, that's forcing it too much. Say that she should be grateful. Uh, that's the best she can do. Uh, that's an omega cuck answer. Say that he sounds pretty cool, to be honest. That's, that, that doesn't seem very right. Say actually it's understandable and, and you do the same thing sometimes. A or C, all right, A or C is the right one. Say that she, she say that she should be grateful. I don't want to get cheated by chat, so let me think here. Say that she should be grateful. That's the alpha answer. I think we have to white knight her here to get into her pants. That's just how it is. Sometimes you gotta... E. No. Oh really? He's terrible, you know? That's, um, that's just not right. You should treat not a girl better than terrible. that. Not terrible? Not terrible, but oh, I wouldn't cool. say I'm completely happy, yeah. 100%. Because if it's me, I just... You know, I'm, I'm always thinking, oh, maybe today I'll buy flowers, maybe today I'll cook dinner. Um, what, what does she want? Maybe some chocolates. I can, you know, clean the house before she comes back. You know. Really? You would make a good boyfriend for someone? Oh my! Interesting psychological point here. It's not the best choice. And the reason why is that when you join her in saying bad things, you actually cause her to defend him because if you go a little bit too far, say something, then she goes into the position of defending her man and therefore getting closer to him and putting you on the <laughs> other side. So Whoops. much better is to take the opposite tack, say good things and get her to be the one that says bad things or just get her to open up and reveal more and tell you more of why he's bad, but not commiserate too much and not agree too much and definitely don't add well, I mean, I don't know this stuff because I always anyway, let's women. change the subject. How are you? How is it going? Problems. Work? Yeah, it works all right. I have, some, I have some interesting projects actually and one of them didn't work out, but two are looking really promising. And if, mm, if something happens, it could exciting. be pretty big. Yeah. So I won't say more because you know what I'm like. I'm more action than yeah, words. So true. I'll tell you if it works out. And okay. oh. 
Are you looking at this gum? Yeah? <laughs> okay. Avert your eyes and pretend like you can't see. <laughs> what? Say that this girl has got nice boobs, but she has a better ass. Say no, of course not, that your friend is much prettier. Look at this girl and comment about how sexy she looks. B or D is alpha, and so let's see here. But I, I want to see A. Avert your eyes and pretend like you can't see. <laughs> can't see. Uh, look at this girl and comment uh, from this one. Yeah, I mean, she's got these really nice boobs and stuff. Look, can you see them, like, very, like, firm and round? I mean, I can't yeah, really. see, but if you imagine naked, I think I would be pretty good, right? Oh, but don't, don't, don't be jealous because I'm not you've jealous. got... Well, of course, because you've got an amazing ass. Why would you be jealous? Oh. Do you remember that time when we did yoga together and you were doing yeah, this... Yeah, you were staring at my ass. You saw? Um, you know, of course, you, it was mirror then. What is it, cat? <laughs> Cow, dog, whatever. It was a cat downward facing dog or something like this? Yeah. That is brilliant. You have to show me that somewhere. <laughs> sure. Brilliant. Got her, boys. Ease. You have friends. Why are you choosing that? It's not the time to give a compliment. It's not the time to give her validation. I didn't you tell you to give her a compliment. To get out of your friend zone, not get deeper in it by just giving her exactly what she wants, but get nothing in return. That's very annoying. Because guys always do that on a date with a girl, they're yeah. checking out other girls and they think cool. girls don't see it, but they do actually. Uh, and what's the problem with that? It makes me feel like I'm not beautiful enough, to be honest. Oh, here's the white knight answer. You're so pretty though, you're, I think you have really nice eyes. You look fine. That's not an issue if you're confident. You're crazy. You have such a nice, such a hot body. My friend Mahmoud wanted to jizz on your face. <laughs> Tell her all the things you like about her appearance. Oh, come on, that's bullshit. Everyone thinks you're very sexy. And really? Yeah, your body and stuff, yeah. Oh. I was sitting, uh, you know my friends Alex and yes. Mahmoud and Reitgad? I was sitting with them the other day and they were just saying like, um, who was it? Either, I think it was Mahmoud. He said, I would just like to, I would fuck Lilia all day, oh, wow. all night, easy, like six easy, times, easy. You whatever. don't need to discuss And then me. Alex said he'd love to like jizz somewhere on your face or something. You guys don't have and any and then other right, subjects right to talk about? was like, maybe we could all do it together and get <laughs> drunk and she might be into that. Can you ask the next time you I see her if she likes that? I don't want to meet them ever again, please. Well, they want to meet you. <laughs> and I think they're willing to do whatever it takes. They don't but, need to. So don't worry. There many men are looking oh, okay. at you, checking you out, imagining sticking it in different places and all of no, that. No, I'm absolutely Nothing confident. Oh my God. Thank you very confident. much. Yeah. That so sounds what, what, like a compliment to me. So look, Mahmoud's having this big party on Friday night. We're all going to be there and maybe you could come. Mm, like, just no you and way. the boys. No way, no, I'm not coming. I don't <laughs> care guys. about Mahmoud. Three and guys. Oh, your friends. Oh, you never had this kind of fancy? Look, I never had this kind Let of me put it to you like this. You said you're not feeling confident. So imagine on Friday night, you've got all these men just begging to It's not going to work, believe me. Sh shut up, please. Just trying you're to help annoying. your confidence. No, Think of it like a shirts. life coaching class to be more confident. You know? No. <laughs> no, you're not Friday. Just for an hour, you can pop in. Can you hear me? Yeah, hear. And I'm see. very upset now. Really? Okay, I was just trying to, you know, help you move. No, because you please said... don't do anything about it. <laughs> no, it's not that big problem. Feels bad okay, but just so you know, there are lots of men that like you fantasize about you basically uh, just dragging on to see now i applaud your you know comradeship bringing your friends into it especially mahmoud you know that guy that guy would really be into it but <laughs> what? definitely no why are you being mahmoud so much all right which one is the right one uh she's not confident about her looks so i'll say you're pretty i think you have really nice eyes you look fine that's not an issue if you're confident tell her 
all the things you like about her appearance. No. Yes. It's the D one. I'll give her the D. That's the right one. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? You're so beautiful. You have this little elf ears and the pixie nose, <laughs> really nice teeth, That's dimples nice, when you smile, you. beautiful That's eyes that just glow enough and now. Enough. soft skin. You're ruining it. Enough. The way you walk is so feminine Stop. and beautiful. Nice and you're really smart as well. Oh. You're so intelligent. Oh, nice you have a beautiful well. voice. Dude, and lovely <clears throat> eyebrows. Enough. Um, really You're sexy yourself. feet. I don't know if I noticed. You know, you have lovely feet as well. Beautiful hands, little soft hands. Oh my god. Very feminine. The way you drink coffee. Your little cute little hands, like little bear claws. Your little feet and your ankles. You I'm know, your ankles very very, very nice. Much. And this muscle, nice. calf muscle, is very oh. pretty. <laughs> when you wear a dress, Not like this. You have a long neck. Okay. And yeah, not, yeah just... like a regal neck, you know? Used to be very prized a amongst what? the nobility back in the day. Very Thank nice, very white, much. soft, creamy skin, like a baby, but sexy, not like... Thank you. Know. Thank you so very <laughs> nice. nice. Just because it's what you think doesn't mean it's what you have to say, right? Keep that stuff to yourself because That's right, what Chad. you want to do is build attraction. Keep and you don't mind. do that by just giving her everything even before she's with you. You can think about it. By the way, I saw your ex girlfriend a few Agatha. days ago. Yes. Oh. Her. She was with a nice guy. Nice guy? Nice yeah, nice one. one. Well, he looked good and. He did. And she, she looked did. happy. And she did. That's shit. Wow. They looked happy. Bitch. Do kind of you still rich. have feelings for her? Well, I don't want to be with her, but I'd rather she was unhappy <laughs> not being with me, you know, than happy with some dude. Right. <laughs> and how about your love life? Are you still single? Uh, oh, nothing much. I'm single. Yes. Say that you went on a few dates actually, and one girl seems really nice. Tell her that you masturbate a lot. <laughs> Say that you'd like to date more, but no one can match up to her. Wait, to her? Is that my ex girlfriend or her? I assume this girl. Uh, imply that you like her, that there is one girl that you like, and she's close by. Yeah, I'm single and, and you know, it's really hard because I'm, you know, I'm a sex addict and I, I, when I have a girlfriend, I'm like having sex all day long, basically. And so being <laughs> single is really hard. So I'm, I'm basically, you know, I'm, I'm masturbate basically like maybe 10, 12, oh, don't tell me sometimes more times per day, <laughs> you know, just uh, sometimes watch some videos, <laughs> sometimes times. just think about something, oh sometimes <laughs> listen sick. to something, maybe remember something. Okay, stop it. Oh, no. It sounds yeah. hurting if that you is. do that many times. What the yeah. hell? But they say it's healthy, right? So it's okay. Very healthy, And yes. uses a lot of uh, calories, don't need to but go to the gym as much. No. <laughs> your head is not healthy. Serious point you fucking guys. bitch. <laughs> uh, the right one would be... Is this too much of a cuck answer? I mean, I need to make... Yeah, this one. There's one guy I really like, actually. And Don't I've, push I've it, known her for a while. We're kind of friends. You know, we meet sometimes for coffees and stuff. And uh, she's she's kind of the one that I want. So, Do I know her? Um, kind of, yeah. Huh. But never mind. But... Um, you know, I'm just waiting for the day she just realizes that, you know, good old Richard, her good friend, is the one who she should be with. I hope you're not talking about me. You hope that I'm not, uh, and therefore yeah. I'm not. So, no, oh. it's, another, it's another girl that I meet, friends, coffee, oh. and... Oh, I'd love of to course. meet her as well. Oh, you'd like to meet her? Uh. Um, Oh, well, you know what? She she really just hates uh, people and girls especially. She just, Is she on Facebook? Do you have Facebook, any pictures of Facebook. her? No, you know what? She When she was young, someone took her picture and then they immediately died. So she never lets anyone take the picture. So <laughs> nothing exists of her. Mom, Is there any chance they can see her? Um, say yes. Maybe, but then, maybe. I'll, just I'll, say yes look, I'll tell you what, I'll talk up. to her and let's, you know, forget about that. You'll, you'll probably yeah, meet her strange. one day. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll meet her. Maybe. It was you. Fucking hell. Chill it out a bit. You don't need to be so eager. Fine. Dude. All right. Fine. Yeah, nothing much going on. I'm, I'm still single. Looking. At you. Waiting. Having some days. 
Mm, no, but maybe there's some prospects of some chances of having some I'm dates. I'm back, boys. Right. Called our Lord yeah. the Whiny Bitch in six dollars okay. later. Right, my bed. Oh, really? Nothing. Feels okay, man. <laughs> Not cool. cool. No, you need to have stuff going on. There's nothing wrong with having dates. She's just your friend, right? Make her want you. She will want you more when you've got an active love life, when you could possibly move out of that friend zone, which is what you want to do, right? <sighs> Fucking like loses on everything. One week goes by and you receive a text on your phone from your friend, all right? Oh my God, guys are such dicks. I really need to talk to you right now. Respond immediately with, I am here for you. Wait a while before I answer. Oh God. If I wait, she might talk to someone else. She's, she's, yeah, yeah, now she's in her vulnerable state now, so we'll go for it right away. Okay, but not the best option. Shut up! She replies to say she needs to talk and you arrange to meet her. Then your text, it sounded like something yeah. serious is going on. What, how are you doing? Serious. Not very good. Uh, why? It's my boyfriend. We it's, broke it's, up. Oh. oh my god, her acting. Oh. We did. Mm. It was actually the right up. time to finish our relationship to end it. Yeah. Um, three years. Yeah, after it's all terrible. These years. Yes, I thought he he was the right person to be my husband. Mm. Um, not now, right? Yes, mm. not now. We couldn't sort out our relationship, and I had to end it. Mm, that's awful. Yeah. So bad. Yeah. You must be really sad. I'm very sad. <laughs> I'm very smiling. Very disappointed. Okay. Well, look, I've got something that might cheer you up. Hang on a second. Okay. Bring two bottles of champagne to bring, uh, cheer her up. Or this time I'm going to get it right. Let me just think. Uh, bring her some flowers to make her feel better about her boy problems. Bring her some wine. Bring her a tree. Why did it freeze frame in this picture? I, I don't want to read chat. Because some of you have probably already seen it. Let me think here. If this was me, and that was Helen alive, I would bring her a tree, I think. Because there's a deep meaning. Look what I've got for Lilia. What is that? Well, Cheers. I hope you like trees and kumquats, oh. because it's a kumquat tree. Yeah. That's the kumquat tree. Yeah, you can eat them and... I don't know. Look, just look at it. It's that's beautiful, funny. right? You it like is. it? Um, yes, I do. Great. So, you know, remember this was like the new time in your life and it all started with the Kumquat tree. Right. That's a nice, <laughs> nice thing. Okay. Thank you. So you take it, you take it home, yeah? Um, I will one day. I will. Could you please just put it? Somewhere. Okay, I'll put him out we'll there and I'll home. play some classical yeah. music if okay. he likes But that was just a joke. Do you have a glass of wine for me? Yeah, I can get you a glass of wine. Yeah. That's what I meant some... to do. Actually, do you want kumquat wine or, <laughs> or just, no, it's just, just white, normal boring white wine? wine. Yeah? Yes, okay. that one. Thank you. Why white? I actually like this one, to be honest. But there's a better option here, but you know, I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, mm, take this. You. Cheers. Cheers. Nice, right? <clears throat> so, tell me what happens. We're going to talk about it anyway. Better to get it out of the way. Um, nothing special. Mm -hmm. um, I just took a minute to analyze mm -hmm. what's going on and uh, I realized I wasn't happy in mm -hmm. this relationship and I thought that relationship is something nice yeah. but it wasn't for me and it was the right time to end it up. Hang on a minute, so you ended it? Yeah, Oh, well, That's worth a cheers. <laughs> her act, she's probably the worst actor so far. Reveal that you've actually always loved her and wanted to be with her, that's too early. Com com commiserate her on her love life. And tell her that it's the right decision and she will be happier. Comfort her and try to make her suck your... <laughs> I mean, I, I would. I would. That's probably why I never get women, I guess. Oh, you poor thing. Come here. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? I was just uh, stroking your hair because 
It relieves stress, they say. <laughs> yes. oh, I'll send you the article. So. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sadness and sexuality don't really go together, so the wrong time for that move, old boy. Alright, so which one is the real? This one I get right now. Reveal that you actually loved her. Commiserate her on her love life. I mean, I'm going to do the opposite. I would take this one, but I'm going to do the opposite. Because I've always been wrong so far, so I'm going to go with this one. You know, I understand, because it's hard now, because you were spending every day together, and it's like, you know, something missing from your life that was always there. But that doesn't mean that it was good, right? So it will be hard for you, but it's still the right decision. It and is. you for will sure. be happier for sure. So oh, it's all going to be okay, don't worry. Thank Nature you. Thank chose you so well. Anytime. How about you? How's your love life? Well, my love like life? Well, I had some dates, but didn't meet anyone special yet, so it's okay. Okay. Correct? That's the right option. Yes. So I guess you haven't been home crying all That's day. What I meant You've been doing things to distract yourself? No, oh, of course not. Mm -hmm. I was trying to distract myself. I finally had my yoga ah, classes. Ah, yeah, cool. That's nice, relaxing yes, and stuff. meeting my friends for mm -hmm. coffee. Friends I haven't seen for ages. You yeah. finally have time for you. Yeah. And uh, shopping. Ah, you were shopping. That's well. That's yes. like the common one, right? Women when they probably yes. Feel I was laughing at shopping. them, but like it, it really works. <laughs> uh -huh. You know. In fact, I got this dress. Tell me mm -hmm. if you like Show it. Show me. Yeah. yeah, I mean the blue is your color probably, so... It's gold, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. Um, it's clearly blue. Oh my god, oh this shit. Like nice meme, dude. Nice fucking meme. <sighs> Someone link me the dress. Someone link me the dress right now. Someone link the dress. Say that if she was wearing that dress, you'd make a move on her. If you weren't friends, of course. That's the right. That would definitely the one. Say that, yeah, it's quite nice. Tell her that it would look great on your bedroom floor. <laughs> Tell her she doesn't really need new dresses, that she looks good all the time. Oh god, I'd love to come on a dress like that. Wait. To what? Fuck? It's clearly blue. Clearly blue. Clearly blue. Ah, oh, it's a great dress. You know what? If you were in that, I'd just like to just jizz all over it right here. Okay, got it. You ready? Oh, baby, where are you going? Ah, uh, how romantic. <laughs> Well, yeah, oh, no, wait, I think, a, hey, I just punched on myself. Like I probably oh. want to make a move on you, so I guess it's, I guess it's oh. nice. Yeah, I mean, like a friend. So I, I, yeah, I just cucked myself. Like I didn't if I was your friend, no, if I wasn't your friend and I didn't know you and I was looking for a girl and I was the kind of guy that wasn't too scared to make moves, then I would make a move on you. Right. Yeah, so I mean, basically it's a nice dress. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oops, nearly got in trouble there, but just got away with it. And you know, it's not it's not worth being verbally sexual before you've kissed a girl. It really, in most cases, it fails. So tell me about that girl that you said you liked and oh. you had a couple of dates. Oh, Rebecca, yeah. Well, Rebecca, we had a it. nice date. Okay. Um, but then um, I kind of texted her like, "Hey, how are you? Let's meet again soon. Go for a drink or something." And uh, she didn't reply, but I don't know, maybe she died or is in hospital mm. or lost her phone <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. The reason for that is because you're too awkward. Awkward? Sure. Me? Yes. You don't have uh, social skills at all. <laughs> Tickle Nature her. Choose her guardian. <laughs> Ask what well, you can do to be less awkward. Tell her sorry to show your value. A lot of, a lot of people who are awkward are cool, like Mark Zuckerberg. Ma, awkward. Yeah. Let, let me tell you something about that. What? 
What's that? <laughs> He's awkward now, eh? You're so awkward. So embarrassing to be with AMC someone so Mahu awkward. Han. <laughs> like what's happened? This is actually a very what? good way to escalate things because it's kind of between playful and sexual. He's so clever. It should be accepted by most most girls. They should be fine with it. But it allows you to get a little bit intimate. Dude, this does not work. So tell me, have that you got anything nice work. to look forward to? Any plans coming? Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. First of all, I'm going to Russia to see my parents and oh, my yeah. grandparents. Babushka. I haven't seen yeah. them for ages. Back to Russia. <laughs> yeah. You're going to meet Mm, hope so. <laughs> Hopefully, okay. I will. Excellent. No. And then, and then when I'm coming back, mm -hmm. uh, I'm starting my interior interior design course. Ah, very cool. Very yeah, you were talking about that for a long time. Yeah, yeah. waiting, and now it's starting. Brilliant. That would be great. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, cheers. Uh, actually, the third toast you need to drink it. Oh, that's like tradition oh, in really? my in my family. And <laughs> you baited. Yeah. That's right. Drink anyway, it all. Yeah. Nature chose her guardian well. Oh, come on. What's that? Can't Useless. I have to do it, but it's only because it's my oh. family tradition, you know? Okay. Not uh, because... You you're know. not nervous or something? No, of course uh, not, but just for tradition. Okay. <laughs> 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 Tell her you want to kiss her, play fight, and then kiss. Ask if she wants to kiss you. You can always say you were joking if she refuses. Uh, what's the right play? Play fight. Tell her you want to kiss. I mean, it's got to be C. There's no way you tell her you want to kiss her. She's going to be dance gaming me. You don't ask for it. You, you take, you do it. You don't ask, you do. Ask if she wants to kiss you. You don't ask. This one. I'm gonna miss you when you're away. Mm, you know that? I'm gonna, gonna miss, miss you. you. You're gonna oh, miss you. It's cringe. I'm gonna miss you. Ease. This is another nice way to escalate. Again, you know, it's a bit of fun and they're smiling. And it's actually easier to go for the kiss when the girl is relaxed, smiling, and you're in this playful kind of situation. I don't know. I don't know how any of this stuff works. Ever green tech with Zebin? Tell her you've been waiting for that for years. No, that's just per se. This is weird and kiss again. Oh God, I ruined the friendship. Leave room. <laughs> this is so weird. We shouldn't do this. We did it, boys. This is a bit of uh, psychology here because you can think that the possible objection is that she becomes uncomfortable, she remembers that you've been friends for so long, you shouldn't do it. Uh, so if you're the one to voice this concern, then she's likely to take the opposite tack. So it's the right choice, very smart, bunch of psychology at work here, and it works very well in practice. Uh, ask her if she wants to move this to the bedroom. We don't ask, boys. We don't ask. That's not how it works with women. Whoop. Tell her that you want to take it slow and see if she wants to get to dinner tomorrow. Keep making out with her. Yes. I don't ask her if she wants to take it to the bedroom. I keep making out with her. And then I... Push her to the bedroom. Like playfully, of course, you know. Yeah, they're more comfortable. Man. This is the right choice. You kind of want to find a balance between moving really fast and aggressively um, to kind of being too slow, right? So carry on, escalate things slowly, uh, let her get comfortable and used to the fact, and also get her more turned on. Thanks for the tips, Mr. Diamond. I will now try to go up to random uh, women and tickle them. Admiral B. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna work. Try that, Jay. She bore you. I think we found 50 months. 
Condom, seriously, do you have AIDS or something? <laughs> Say that you think you shouldn't go too far, should be more meaningful. Say that it's no big deal, don't need one. Say that you don't, but maybe you can put it in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have one right here. <laughs> P. Condom? Why? You have some like, AIDS or some oh, not syphilis? Some... Oh, that's ridiculous. If it's mm. chlamydia, it's okay. Oh. I don't mind. It doesn't do anything to men. Yikes. Always practice safe sex. Uh, let's give it a D, boys. Oh no, I don't have one, but maybe I could just put it in a little bit. Oh, no, just no. a little bit. It's ridiculous. And then I just finish like somewhere else. <laughs> Where do you want it? Like here or? No. Um, but maybe you could just. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Mm -mm. I don't like this idea at all. Okay. Okay, you blew it, but hopefully you'll get another chance. <laughs> Didn't blew it the way I wanted to, you know what I mean? Alright, so... I <sighs> Fine. Yeah, of course I've got one. I've got one right here. Mm, my shoe. Yeah, prepared. Yeah, my mum told me. <laughs> now, you don't want to break the action and the mood, so to speak, so make sure that you've got some strategic placements around the house so that you don't need to go go far or even worse, you know, run down to the store to, to buy something. All right, got it. I got them in my house, but I never used them. I think they expired, actually. Oh, yeah, of course. There you go. That's strange. I don't, I don't know uh, about this. It might ruin our friendship. Say that five years of agonized friendship finally paid off. <laughs> I'm so happy that we did this. <laughs> it's it's got to be A. Well, let's see how pissed off she gets. Oh, finally, God! All those years of friendship. Oh, boring. Oh, tell me about your day. Oh, <laughs> all this shit. And then finally, get in there, my son. Yeah. Oh no! So it was oh. only for sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that, that look. That's one of those moments, wasn't it, where it's just better not to say exactly what you were thinking. <laughs> it was what I was thinking. Wait, is it B? No, I'll be like, oh no, it's not gonna, it might ruin our friendship. You'd be like, but the way you use your D, you know, I want more. That was amazing, but do you think it will ruin our friendship? You can try. Got it. This is psychology at work here. You're Kyle, the voice? one that voices the concern. That's what we so learned just 10 minutes ago. The other argument. And that stops her going home thinking, oh, I'm not sure about this. Actually, it's bad. Maybe we shouldn't do it. And texting you that she doesn't want to carry on any kind of romantic are you relationship. Want to chat with, are you retarded? What now? Looks like I was right, boys. Don't forget that I majored in Sometimes we need to say no. And the, you know, these girls that put you in the friend zone, they always ask favors. What the hell is this outtakes? You're just so beautiful and I want to give you a kiss actually. Whoa, no, 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 no. Why not? Uh, because I don't know you. I'm not trying to fuck you in your ass or anything. I'm just wow. trying to give you a kiss. You know what? What? <laughs> That's gonna be the throwing. The throwing. Yeah, I work uh, in IT, but I wouldn't say that. I don't feel like today's going well. I don't know. Hey, listen, I have a few minutes. So, would you say we just quickly grab a coffee before we go our separate ways? Yeah. Okay. That would be nice. Uh, no, you. You want to give me your oh, number, shoot. surely? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought, right. you were, I thought we were doing it again for some reason. Oh, okay, yikes. Yeah. They're even more cringe off camera. Or in their outtakes. Uh, how many more are there even? I mean, I've seen for 10 hours. Pepe had on a fucking life, boys. 
I am getting kind of hungry. Uh, I guess we'll do one more. I guess let's do one last. First date, Alexa. All right. I never gotten been to a date, so. Let's see. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Very nice. You look great. Thank you. So do you. Cheers. <laughs> we'll take a seat. I ordered you some tea. Thank you. you That's like perfect. Tea, right? I do. I mean, you're not English, but I'm sure, I'm sure you drink tea too. I still like tea. <laughs> I mean, wow, very nice. Very nice personality. A rating? Cool, so how have you been? Six, solid Good. six. Busy. Yeah, six busy. Point yeah, five. work. Hmm. It's been over Seven. One. You told me, what was it Seven. you said? You said you work in a charity or something, but yeah. I don't know what it is. What, <laughs> uh, what kind non-profit of animal shelter doing cat rescues. Wait, what, what did you say? I didn't listen. I was looking at her. Uh, she worked with dogs. Tell her about the time you tortured a cat and how fun it was. Be nice about cats and about her. I actually prefer dogs. Oh, a cat shelter? Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting because you might have met some, some cats that I've been in contact <laughs> with. Really? Um, yeah, what's the... Did the cat come to you, I don't know, like six weeks ago or so, oh like a God. ginger one with white spots? Mm, we get that? lots of those. Yeah, I guess. Well, this was so funny, right? Me and some friends, um, we were just out and, you know, bored like you are. And there's this cat, like in my neighborhood, I often see it. It's very friendly, sure. like yeah. this ginger one. And it came up to us like that, right? And we were taking it, like playing with it. But then we decided we'd tie a little rope around it and um, attach fireworks <laughs> all along. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. And then just lit it. And it was like, meh, poo, meh, poo. Like, that just went mental. Actually, I've got a video. I'll show no, you. No, you're joking. No, it was phenomenal. Look, wait. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen, <laughs> Show actually. me. Where is it? <laughs> oh, there he is, the little shit. Look. See him. Oh my god. You see no. him? How, how could you do that to a cat? He trusted you. He came Wait, up no, to you. This no, the no, no, no. I don't want to see it. You're terrible. What do you mean? Yes, I get it. In the game, that's cool. In real life, totally illegal. What do you mean in the... In the oh, in the game. All right. Let's see here. Be nice about cats and about her. I actually prefer dogs. That's the alpha answer. So we're going to go alpha. Uh, cat shelter. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I, I actually more of a dog person myself. Oh, that's great. We have Small dogs at the shelter too. Yeah? Yeah. With the cats? Well, not in the same cages. They fight, no. right? No. Well, they would. They would, but we have them in another area. Okay. Yeah. But you don't like the dogs? Or you I do? do like the dogs. Oh, okay, great. Just, they need more help with the cats, so that's what I do. When you find something that she's passionate about, try and engage with it. Don't change the subject. Don't block her. Give her a chance to open up and connect. Yes, okay. So what does your work entail there? Are you like, you know, holding a ball of string all day playing with the cats? <laughs> no. Like serious stuff. <laughs> That's part of it. But um, actually we do transports nationwide. Mm. So if the shelter is full, then we find someone who can take it elsewhere in the or country. Or you put it life. down from um, what I've heard. Okay. That's actually the reason it's been really busy is a cat I had adopted. I lost him. So you lost him? He's, yeah, he's been adopted and I opened his cage and he ran out um, and I don't really know how to tell the people. So he's like somewhere in the building or yeah, it could hopefully. be anywhere? Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. It could be anywhere. He may have found his way outside. But um, I don't know how to tell the people, so maybe you have an idea? Fuck, I didn't listen to her again. I don't listen to what she's saying. Whoops. Advise her to buy a cat that looks the same. Tell her to, uh, to be dishonest and see... If she agrees to check her, tell her to uh, just act as if it happened. Recommend that she tell the truth. Well, you know what? I think you should just tell the truth because it's always my philosophy that nothing bad can happen as long as you tell the truth. So <laughs> I think you should own up to it. Yeah, I think you're right. If you can show good moral fiber, why not, right? It's a good thing to do and it makes That's you fine. look good. And at the same time, giving her some good advice. Um, I actually don't think you told me what you do. Oh yeah, I didn't, did I? No. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. A boring truth. I'm a QA manager for a software company that creates inventory systems. Joke. I run an obedience school for small pets, hamster and ger gerbils. Gerbils? 
Dismiss her. I forgot it's to not important. Crap, Life's too huh? short to talk about work. Braggadocious lie. I'm one of the top 10 real estate brokers in the country. I just sold a property to Donald Trump for $1 billion. <laughs> Donald Trump, here we go. You don't know? I thought you would have checked. It would have been you know, Google right. or something. No. Because <laughs> no? I'm in the news at the moment because uh, I'm one of the top real estate brokers in the country and just closed a billion dollar deal with the Trump, Donald. Really? Yeah. Big stuff. You like him? Well, I like I like money. No, no I don't like him. Yeah. He's got money. He's so not I a guess good I like him. Well, well, you know, real estate's real estate, right? I'd probably sell something to Saddam Hussein or uh, what's the, uh, Osama bin Laden <laughs> if they if they were still with us. Scared That's a little concerning, God, God but uh, I guess if you're good with business, that makes sort of sense. What's wrong with Donald yeah. Trump? I mean, money's money, right? And let's imagine I get this billy from Donald Trump, and then I give it all to charity, right? Give it to a cat shelter, then it makes me makes you, it good, right? Deal. Um. Deal you give the money to the cat shelter. I can give some money to the cat okay. shelter. Then it's fine. Five dollars <laughs> or something, but no, something, something. Okay. <laughs> give a little back. Sure. Lies will get you into trouble, and unless you move very, very fast, you're going to get caught out. But I'm just going in and out. Don't get caught out. out. It's a this recipe for disaster. So if you're not satisfied with where you watch, are in life, work to change that so that seriously. you never need to lie. The insecure, so what do you do outside of work? Dogs, chat. Um, what do I do? So I exactly do some fitness stuff, and I study languages, and what else? I I play chess as well. I don't know how to play chess. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't know how the pieces move, or you can't play very well? <laughs> I can move them, I just don't know the You know what they're called? Like, the horse and whatever. <laughs> Is there a rook? Is yeah, that a rook. Thing? Yeah. Rook or castle, okay. yeah. I know some. It's, it's okay. so awkward. Well, it's quite easy to learn, and it's really, I think it's quite cool for the brain. My mum bought me a chess set, and then Great. I thought, okay, it can't just sit there, I'm gonna <laughs> learn how to play. Cool, you have to teach me. Mm -hmm. And what else? I like um, I like photography. It's probably actually my major hobby. The really? thing I spend the most time doing is photography. Oh, that's great. Why why do you like it? Hmm. I, I want to come off as a deep person, you know. For you catch your moments that lasts for eternity. Yeah. Actually, there was this time when I just yeah. uh, borrowed a friend's camera and mm -hmm. I just took some pictures and I loved it. And then everywhere I was going, I was looking at things and thinking, oh, that would make a nice shot. That would make a nice shot. I uh, took some pictures of friends and, you know, they all used it as their Facebook profile <laughs> pictures. <laughs> nice. was like, like it's working, boys. Yeah, so I, just, cool. I just really got into it. And I guess I, I might have some talent. So... You know, I keep it, but it's just a hobby. I'm not thinking about it too seriously. Well, it sounds like you're having fun. That's, yeah. that's great. You can take your picture if you like. Do you like having your picture <laughs> taken? <laughs> sure, yeah, we could try. Cool. I, I could use a new profile photo. Yeah, nice. Yep, yep. When you have something that you like doing, why not be a little bit passionate about it? Tell her why. Try and, you know, get that infectious Got emotion it. spread to her. So, yeah, that's the right answer. So I actually do photography too. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, what camera do you use? Uh, it's a Canon 5D Mark III. It's a good one. It's better than mine. Oh yeah? What do you have? <laughs> iPhone? A 40D. And yes, in an iPhone. Um, but I use 40D. a 40D. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I actually uh, got into photography because I modeled. Okay. Kind of still do a little bit here and there. What? Hand modeling? Oh, yikes. Oh God. Be very impressed. Does that mean if I uh, give you some money, I can take pictures of you, you in lingerie? I thought I saw you on deepthroat.com. <laughs> nice. It's hard work, but can be interesting, right? Especially if you like travel. Which countries have you worked in? Let me tell you what I think about that. Farts. Yikes. Ah, so you model. Yeah, I was going to say, right? But, you know, you, you mentioned it first, so I guess I can. But I definitely saw you on, on a website. You know, you, do you have your campaigns and videos and different things in different places? Yeah, there's a portfolio on there. Yeah, I think there was this video on Pornhub. What was it? No. I don't remember. Like, Someone that looked like me, maybe. Throat, something, but... So it was, yeah, no, it was definitely it was you. certainly definitely not you. me. Don't, don't <laughs> be ashamed, come on. No, 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 it just wasn't me. It wasn't me. Okay. It wasn't you. Wow. <laughs> but just so you know, like, you sure can suck a dick. Oh <laughs> my god. Fuck you. Out. Where that's, are you that's going? That's disgusting. 
Let's make some movies. Fucking last, we last, boys. Dirty little bugger. <laughs> what hand modeling? I like that one. <laughs> it's really interesting that you said that. Um, let me tell you what I think about that. Hang okay. On. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> what? That's twelve disgusting. years old. It's only joking. <laughs> no, no. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I might need to go to fix this. I know it's so. <laughs> I like to do it all up. What, like hand modeling or something? Mm, no, not usually. Like catwalk? Catwalk. Oh my god, so rude. Oh my god. No, it's rare that I get so to do So rude. Um, a lot of uh, like um, glamour, fashion oh sort of shots. Uh, very fancy dresses, extreme dresses or hair. Hmm. Okay. This is a kind of PUA neg. Um, what? It's okay if the girl is being very cocky and bitchy, but this girl's actually quite nice and sweet at heart, so um, she's not a stuck-up model, so you don't really need to punish her with it. So this um, joke was a little bit too mean. So you've got your cap shelter work, mm -hmm. you did some modeling, you yeah. did some photography, so yes. you're already pretty busy, right? Yeah. Do you have, do you have time for anything else? I like to hike a lot. I like to be outside, you know, being in the shelter and modeling, you're usually indoors. So mm -hmm. it's nice to get outside and I don't like being in the gym. So hiking is like my way of working Yeah, it's out. very good exercise it is. and fresh air and all that as well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But um, I also really like, you know, staying in sometimes and just like watching a movie. Oh, movies. Okay. Mm -hmm. what's, what's like the... Best movie you've seen that you really love recently? A nice hard recently? overall. So like oh, it's recently. so silly. But it's kind of like a guilty pleasure movie, but um, Jurassic World. <laughs> Jurassic World. I did like that as well, actually. Pepper Hands. It was very nice. I like when the big dinosaur eats people. Ask if she understands it and explain the key event. Tell her that uh, shows she has a pea brain. <laughs> say you like it too, even though you don't. Just say, matter of fact, that you didn't like it. Playfully tease her for liking that movie. Look at what he I think he is, right? I can't believe you admitted that. You really like it? Yeah, that? I had to be honest, it's a guilty pleasure movie. And it was recent, you asked recent, it just came into my head. I don't know if it makes you look kind of dumb. Or if it's really, or if it's uh, like honest and dude, sweet. Dude, that's not what I said, you know, dude. Cute that you like it. I hope honest and sweet. Probably, because I'll, I'll tell you, like one of my favorite movies is Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sure, yeah, yeah. But if, what? Oh, you yeah, like I think it too? That's silly. Yeah, but it's silly. It's the same. Same. All right, level. nice one. Okay, cool. I like it. Good. Okay. <laughs> you didn't judge me for liking Predator. No. <laughs> Notice that this is playful. It's not insulting. So if you can find that perfect line where you're able to tease without hurting people, you can use it quite often and there's an example. Good choice. So what sort of movies do you like? I know everyone says it, but I do have a, a varied taste. So if you looked at my iTunes, um, <laughs> iTunes. I've got foreign movies, you know, Korean, French, wow. uh, Spanish. A lot like, of subtitles. Yeah, lots of subtitles. <laughs> I don't, I'm not scared of subtitles. And what else? I've got like the silly action movies, all the Schwarzenegger stuff. And Come then on, like the Panero, um, Panero. De Niro. <laughs> De Niro okay. and De Niro is like De Niro and Pacino, yeah. so yeah, that, that, right. we can use that for you the like genre. Them. You like them both? Yeah, like the Mafia stuff, Heat, right. you know, all Anything that. Anything so. recent? A uh, recent movie... Up the Ant, Fifty Shades of Grey, I just find bondage really central. I really don't have time for movies, I don't even own a TV. Life is about living, not sitting in front of a screen. My favorite movie is one... We'll make together in the bedroom. Well, I'm thinking of a good movie, but it hasn't been made yet. Let me tell okay. you about it. Sure. The stars, me and you. Okay. The location, what would be good? Uh, like an all white bedroom, you know, just everything white. And then what's going to happen? Well, I guess we'd start with some gentle kissing move on to some sucking and licking oh my and then take it from there so no it's gonna be great you're joking am i joking do you want me to be joking 
Then I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> I got you there, didn't I? Yeah, Thank you, you did. You had me a little nervous. Yeah. No, I, I'm not, I wasn't thinking of that. Just being silly. Yeah, so um, movies. <laughs> yeah, I like action movies, basically. A She's action, actually pretty like, good at acting. This you know, is a good actor. Schwarzenegger. Stallone. This kind of classic action sing? movies. Great. <laughs> Growing in. Okay, that's great. You know, if you do like filming Monkeys. movies, cool. But she wait till you're in a relationship, or at least you set for a few times. Then she might agree. Need the corona and a super beast still. Like where he's having. Uh, it will be this one because all women. I like missed it at the cinema, but I just saw Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm. Have you seen it? No, I heard it was bad. Uh, as a movie, it's bad. But you know what's cool? It's just all this stuff about. You know, tying girls up and having oh a little my, no, dungeon that's in your not house what I meant. where you have all of the, you know, all of the oh, accessories and whatever. It's a little so. silly, a little over the top. Are you, I mean, is it too personal for me to ask, but you, are you into any of that stuff? At least, you know, blindfolds, handcuffs, mm -hmm. being tied up? Might be too personal for now. Okay. Well, I like it. <laughs> okay. What the? Fuck off. But then I'm lying, dude. This is a lie. Actually, I just threw my TV in the trash and I, I don't really go to the movies. I think that, you know, when it comes to all this, there's just more important things in life to do than sitting down watching something passively. Why don't you read a That's book? That's true. That's fair. I actually kind of like that answer. Good, good. This is an option, you know, where you've chosen to be a little bit out there, a little bit straight and like direct, but then she's actually followed you into it and validated it so it's Shut quite up. risky but and i like you know really talented actors but sure what do you think would you be a good actress could you like cry on call uh, i don't know i don't know probably not are you a good that liar? sounds hard no i'm not uh, i'm really not that's kind of connected right i can lie for like a minute and then i feel really bad about it and i admit it right away mm, so i'm not sure if you'd be good but do you have any other talents mm, i play the violin yeah really yeah wow. since i was like five and you still do it? Care. You kept it up? Not as much oh, as I, I do, should, I but yeah. Well, that's impressive. Thanks. It's hard. You want to impress her, all right. Time to impress her. Let's, let's play serious now. Show off by showing what you can do with your tongue. <laughs> Show her your dick. Show off with a stack of cash and tell her it could be hers. Ask where she lives. So that she asks you back. Well, playing the violin is great, obviously. I, I don't know if I can compete with that as far <laughs> as uh, talents go, but I do have something that I think you're going to be impressed with. Like, okay. I'm just, I'm just sending you a picture. Do you have your phone here? No, I'm sorry. Right, okay. I left it in my I'll car. send it so you're going to have it to keep. Okay. But let me show you this. So I've just sent it to you. Oh my god! Yeah, I know, right? No, that's <laughs> yeah. no, that's not okay. Oh, it's very. Please what do you mean it's not okay? It's way above be average. By a demon capper. But ten inches. <laughs> <laughs> You're ten dreaming. inches. Um, and I'm wrong? leaving. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Feels bad, man. How sweet you. Ah, uh, what's the right one? Ask where she lives, so that she asks you back. Show off, we can, yeah, with the tongue, boys. Well, violin takes a lot of practice, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And yeah, it does. I've got something I practice every day as well. Yeah? Like, That's check fine. this out. And then look. <laughs> that took you a long time to learn. Well, it's practice, isn't it? So mm -hmm. I could do it quite quickly, but now the muscle is just so strong, it, it never gets sure. tired. Ah. Which is, oh. which is good for, mm. for speaking all the languages. You yeah, know, of course. Because learning languages. <laughs> of course. Rolling the R's and whatever. You got her, boys. <laughs> good. Don't come and think about things that you need to show a girl, tell a girl, in order for her to like you more. She will actually like you more if you're cool and chilled and don't reveal these things as if you don't have to because you're already enough. And that's going to make her curious and make her work harder for you. Focus on the body language. All right, let's focus. Okay, it's not good. Defensive stance. Okay. 
Her arms are crossed. Arms crossed means that she's subconsciously thinking of hugging you. This is a good sign. Wrong. Arms are crossed indicates that she's not yet open to you, and it's not a good sign. This is not an absolute rule, but in most cases it's correct, so well done. You don't think I know this? I know everything, man. I know women. I know women. I practiced sign language as well when I was growing up. You want to know if she likes you. Okay, so how do I find out? Ask if she ask ask if she likes you. Uh no. Tell a lame joke and see if she laughs. Use self-pity to fish for compliments. Hey guys, I just I post a picture on Facebook. I'm so ugly. I'm so ugly, guys. Oh, can I tell you a joke? Yeah. I've got a brilliant joke. Um, okay, how does it go? What is red and smells like blue paint? I don't know. Blue red paint. No. Red paint. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Brilliant, right? I love that <laughs> Absolutely one. brilliant. Got her, boys. One of the biggest signs of interest that a girl <laughs> can give is if she laughs at your lame jokes. Doesn't mean you need to consciously remember this lame joke and use it, but you can pay attention to, you know, moments where you think, hang on, she's laughing and I didn't really say anything funny. Yeah, don't worry, it means she likes you. So learn that lesson. And how about your family? Do they live do they East live in Club? the city as well? No, I moved away from home. Um, oh, yeah? which is yeah, it's sad. I miss them. I miss seeing them. When did you leave? When you were like teenager, you ran away. <laughs> no. Rebellious teenager. No, for school. For school. And okay. then I just stayed here. But you get on well with your family, you don't hate yeah, them. Yeah, no, absolutely. I actually um I have a twin sister and we're very close. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I already know what's gonna happen. Ask for a threesome, isn't it? Uh tell her about your twin sexual fantasy. Ask if they have a special bond, tell them you'd like uh, a twin because you hate most people but like yourself. Ask a series of questions to find out more. I mean, it's BB, it's right, but you know, let's just find out this one. Twins? Wow. Yeah. No way. That really gets me thinking. Because, <laughs> yeah, I've got all of these. Um, Why are you, know, you playing this when you are already a girl? I didn't know you had a twin, so. For maybe, the chat, for the chat, yeah. of course. So, for example, like when we're already having sex, like, obviously not now, because we, we met recently, but when we're having sex already and we're kind of dating, and then sometimes you could send <laughs> a twin and I don't know, mm -hmm. and then I'm having sex with her, but then you come in, like, surprise, yeah. you're having sex with my twin, right. and can I join you as well? Yeah. And like, <laughs> I know, let's see which twin is better at giving blowjobs, and then let's compare your asses, are they identical, and right. are your pussies identical, yeah. and <laughs> all of God. this stuff. It's, just, it's gonna be brilliant. I'm mm. so happy. It just doubles how much I like you. And, and I already liked you a lot. And this is actually just nothing new for me, and it's rather boring, so. Nothing go, new. So how many call. times have you done it? How many men have you mm. shared? What? I love when she walks off, dude, that leg. That leg. This is one of those cases where you don't say what you think, so... Don't say what you think, okay? We got it. That goes for you as well, chat. This one. That's a really special bond. That's obviously, right? Twin? Wow. Yeah. That's really interesting, actually. You know they do loads of studies on twins, don't yes, they? Yes, I do. Did, did they do anything on you? Like psychological no. studies, psychic no. tests, or whatever? No, it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun, though. Do you, do you have some like special bonds? Like if I pinched you now, I won't do it, but like if I pinched you really hard, would she kind of feel it? Oh, my arm feels strange. I don't know. We could do it and I could text her <laughs> if she felt something. <laughs> Try that later. Yeah. But you get on really well? Or you're competitive? We, we like, how's do. your relationship? No, we, we understand each other very well. We always know each other's emotions without having to say it. That's very nice. So you yeah. have someone who's always like supporting you and who Definitely. understands you. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I think so. Now be careful of falling into the dirty guy trap. You didn't do it in this choice. It's the right one. Well done. Feels so good, what about your family? I've got, I've got family. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't have any brothers and sisters and people say that makes me like selfish, but no, I don't Does think it? so. No, I don't think so. And I'm quite close to my mum. Uh, my dad's Italian, so hmm. I see him sometimes, but less often. And what else? I have five, five children. Really? Yeah. yeah, but they don't live in the country. They're like all in different countries, so that's okay. You're joking. Yeah, I'm joking. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no children and, and no wife. So. Okay, that's, that's good. That's yeah. ideal. You want to increase the attraction. All right. Smell her. Say that you like kind people, so ask what she has done for others. 
Tell her you recently won a strength competition at the gym. Say that your ex-girlfriend is now dating Drake. Neg her by saying she looks like Hillary Clinton. Smoothly show her your... Uh, we're, not gonna, we're not going E again. We're not showing the D again, boys. We're not doing E again. Oh, ah, you work in the shelter, but do you have mm -hmm. any cats yourself? I do actually, I have two. Oh, okay, tell me, tell me about them. Um, well, let's see, the one of them, he's actually really special needs, he's deaf and he has asthma, he's allergic <laughs> to like every food in the <laughs> whole world. The, um, the other one's just really sweet and kind of general. Oh no, look what happened! Oh my god! <laughs> Game over, motherfucker, you blew it. Uh, let's see, what's the right? I want the attraction. So... No. What, what the hell is the right one? Is A or D? Why would, why would D be the right? A is so cringy. What the hell? Uh, it must be A. You know, it's quite important to me that um, when someone is very kind to other people and stuff. So, sure. can, do you do anything for other people? Actually, yeah. Um, I've helped with uh, relief work with the Red Cross. Okay. What, you flew to some war zone or something? Or? No, just like disaster areas like floods, hurricanes, ah. tornadoes. Okay, so you volunteer and go and do that? Yeah, absolutely. That's very cool. Thanks. You know what, I mean, when someone does that, they're obviously not going to be um, evil, basically. Right. So, <laughs> so it's great, right? Or yeah. selfish, even. It means you're very selfless. Yeah, I hope I so. I like that. It's very cool. Thanks. Yes, yes, good, that's right. It's right, a it way to build attraction because you're challenging her and challenge anytime her. someone kind of proves themselves, justifies themselves, works to get your approval, it makes them want the prize more. The prize being you in this case, so it's the right choice. I'm the prize boy. So, do you uh, go we'll on many see. dates? No. Uh, let's see, yes, in fact, I can't stay long, some other chicks is waiting. <laughs> That's too alpha. Yeah, I mean, being alpha is good, but not too alpha. A few honest haven't met anyone special yet. That's you got to be honest. We learned that you got to be honest. Honest, not always though. Not always. Sometimes you got to lie, boys. But to be honest, yeah, of course, I'm I'm single, so I go on a few dates. Sure. Um, but haven't met anyone special yet. I, I I to be honest, I do have another date planned like this week. <laughs> I guess that's okay. But you know what? We're not we're not together like a couple right. yet. So I'm All not right. gonna lie and say, oh, you know, no. I already know you're the one for me or whatever. <laughs> let's let's take our time, and if um, if we get serious, then of course you know I'm a monogamous guy. I'll just be honest with you. I I do have another date lined up this week. But well, thank you for being honest. Yeah, and you're really cool. So thanks. You're really cool. Exactly. This Remember, is honesty trash. is the best policy. Play, an and, actual game, you know, please. you're thinking dating it doesn't apply, but you can see here how being honest is refreshing and actually builds attraction. So try and be honest in cases where it won't hurt you, like this. And what about you? Do you go on a lot of dates? I mean, I would say, I guess, average, you know. What's it's... average? 16 a week? <laughs> <laughs> For you, maybe, no. Coming out of You know, a couple times a month, I guess. It's kind of hard dating in the city. Um, it's not exactly easy to meet people. Yeah. You know? Where do you meet them? Is it online or real world? Oh, I have tried the dating apps, but I don't like them. I like meeting people in real life. It's you know, better, you get right? a better idea of, like, who they are. Yeah. You know? I mean, like, what kind of girls do you like? <laughs> The offline, I think the 500 bits this game is boring. Play an actual game. I'm sorry you feel that way. Uh, we play a little bit different games here, though, Smiley Face. So, you know. And tomorrow we'll, we'll play some Dota. And watch some Dota. Describe her physically. Describe the physical opposite. I like big boobs. Try and touch her boobs. Say that you want a girl who is honest, trustworthy, kind, and intelligent. Well, D is the right. But let's see if you can do this smoothly. Well, I like, I like kind of, I do like big boobs, mm -hmm. you know, small boobs are okay, but I kind of like, like a handful, so let me just measure up. Oh! Fucking pig! What? <laughs> oh, you deserved that one, didn't you? Just... <laughs> happened too many times, Pepper Hands. It never happened, yeah, I don't talk to girls. 
So for me, the most important things are that she's kind, thoughtful. Uh, I like intelligence and curiosity. You know that she's interested in finding out new things. That sure. she can talk about different subjects. I guess, I guess for me, that's the the most important stuff. It's a good list. Very good. By focusing on the non-physical, you actually show yeah. that you're a serious guy. Now, if that's what you want to show, don't talk about that's physical stuff. It. It it's about all about personality. What kind of girl you need in your me. life, and it's more than all just about personality. Big boobs. That's all that matters, man. Tell me, what kind of men do you like? Mm, tall, dark, and handsome. Typically, normal. But really outdoorsy. Um, mm. I guess I'm tall and I'm dark and handsome. He can be husky sometimes. Kind of looks like a lumberjack, maybe. Okay. Feels good. Say that you chop trees and have some axes in the house, Monkers. Say that you have checked, sh have a checked shirt and walked in the park yesterday. Say that she's, say that's pretty stupid. Don't you like men in suits? Say okay, that's interesting. I may not be a, a lumberjack, but I definitely have some foreign hardwood for you. We pull out. It's funny you should say that actually because um, I've got some axes in my house and um, I use it to chop stuff <laughs> chop, and chop trees. I've, okay. I've um, chopped no, down a tree. That was so cringe. It's pretty, pretty big. So you're sort of a lumberjack. Like, timber like that. <laughs> you know. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. This is okay if you did it tongue in cheek, but if you show in any way that you feel threatened, that you're not falling into the archetype that she finds attractive, that would be bad. You've got to be cool with it. So tell me, what music do you like? Well, you know, play the violin, so I do like classical. Um, but I like classic rock too. I like a lot of 80s. Michael okay. Jackson. Type of hands, MJ. That's cool. <laughs> do you like uh, rap music? I like rap music. Um, yeah. I like Juicy J. I'm not as familiar with it though. She doesn't trust. Uh, she mirrors your posture. What does it mean? What does it mean? She doesn't trust you. Mimicking your posture is a sign that she's hyper vigilant and, and, and on edge. This is a bad sign. <laughs> I mean, who thinks this is a good sign? It's obviously a bad sign. No, 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 that's what? wrong. You need to learn some stuff about body language if that's what you really think. Dude, did you see how she moved? The way she moved was not a good sign. Trust me, I know women. Did you see how she moved? All right. After 10, 15 minutes of speaking to a girl, if you notice that your postures are kind of matching and she uh, she followed your lead there, yeah, but you all then saw it means how she that moved. she's very comfortable, relaxed with you and probably attractive. She was shaking with her hand and shit. I think it's important to know what people want, right? Yeah. So it's good that, I think it's maybe a personal question, but I'm glad that, I'm glad we, that we both know what <laughs> each other likes. Yeah, I think so. Tell her uh, she needs to sleep with your friends if you date, <laughs> tell her that you prefer dating bisexual women. Say that sex is very important to you and ask if she's good in bed. Ask what color her eyes are as an excuse to get close. Tell her you only date girls that <laughs> meet a minimum bo booty threshold. I mean, there are four meme answers. There's no way any of these are right. <laughs> Let's bring Mahmoud again, boys. Like there's something I think we should cover before we go any further. It's it's very I have like specific things that I look for in a girl, like I told you. Sure. Yeah. Um, but there's one other thing, which is that um, I've got really good friends. I'm really close to them, and I like you know sharing with them and stuff. So if we get together, really from time to time, I just want you to sleep with my friends. You know, there's one uh, Mahmoud, who's a very <laughs> nice guy. My friend Alex, and all oh, <laughs> lovely guys. You're gonna like Oops. them. I mean. You, you know, you can say, but I'm sure you will like them. And just from time to time, you know, I'll be watching from a cupboard or whatever, and you just need to... No. There's nothing to... No. Think, well, think about it a little bit, and wait, okay. until, wait oh, until you meet them. I'll wait think about it, and them. I'll get back to you. In okay, the meantime, cool. there's a good street corner you can maybe find a girl like that. Street corner? What's it, which street is it? <laughs> now, we really should believe... Uh, take the right one. Gotta get close, boys. What color are your eyes? Are they blue or kind of gray blue? Bluish yeah? gray. Yeah. That was a little cringe. Excellent, well done. This is one of my personal favorites. It's a very smooth way to go from just having a conversation to having a really intimate, spicy moment. I'm gonna try that. 
I'm having I'm having nice time. I'm having nice time, guys. I'm having nice time. I'm and I'm really happy we met. Lean forward and kiss. Say you look like you're imagining kissing me. Can I kiss you? Listen, uh, I want to kiss you, but can you chew this gum first? Form wait. I don't think I've ever been in love before, but I think I'm starting to feel the way with you. Leaning in for kiss. Wait, what? Kiss already? <laughs> uh, let's take the right answer right now. It's too early to kiss. It's gotta be B. You know what? You've got that look in your eye. Like what? Like you're imagining kissing me. Really? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, you imagine it, won't you? Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> this is a PUA routine. <laughs> Works okay, but as with all the PUA stuff, it's better to be natural than to use this. But if you have to use it, it's all right. <laughs> Oops. Casanova! When you find something that she's passionate about, Try and engage with it. Don't change the subject. Don't block her. Give her a chance to open up and connect with you. Feels good, man. Halfway in, boys. So what do we got left? Direct day game. Dude, that's impossible. She was my favorite. No, this was my favorite. This was the worst one. 